I the least climactic title of any video you've ever seen that is probably going to be the most epic video you've ever seen. F Feinster Vok? Finster Vokt? Finster Vok. Did I say that right? Probably not. This is Saltatio Mortis featuring Blind Guardian. This one is 11 minutes long. It is not a music video. It is a music movie. It is an epic adventure. This thing is so long, you'd swear to God, Peter Jackson directed it. But pretty sure it's not filmed in New Zealand. Here we go. My reaction to a very um, anticipated delivery from Saltatio Mortis. Remember the last one they did that we reacted to? It was the one with the battle and the people from the video game. It was just freaking epic and everyone was like, oh, yeah, they're doing another one. Watch this. All right, here we go. Um, Saltatio Mortis featuring the band that has the most epic album covers that tell you stories, just the album covers all you need. <laughs> Blind Guardian, here we go. Uh, Finstervacht, I think I said it right. Maybe, probably not. Saltatio Mortis and Blind Guardian. I said that already. Uh oh. remember this from return of the king when they lit the the beacons i remember this you know what happens when they light the beacons right we're going to war called it schwer auf dem Land. Die drohenden Gipfel der Berge ragen unheilverkündend in. Okay, this is where it gets difficult for me. I was, I was, I was able to say Finsterwacht. But that's it. I don't speak German. And before anybody gives me any crap, there are no subtitles available. I checked. There's no subtitles. So please, if you're commenting on my reaction you know you should have just had the subtitles so we could see what the guy said there aren't any no there's none now if they release one that has them i'll let you know but for right now nope you can click the little button that has the cc's on it all you want there's no subtitles but honestly it's so visually massive you can kind of imagine what they're saying to the most part like right here people are dead I'm assuming that's what he said. He probably said something like throughout the night and through the morning, a massive battle where countless soldiers and, and defenders of their homeland died. It's probably what he said, but for us, it's people dead on the grass. Nach all den Jahren ist es wieder da, dieses unheimliche Flüstern in der Nacht. Was verbirgt sich dort in den finstern Wäldern? <laughs> At the end of Vakin 2023, these were the people left in the audience field. That's what I'm going with. Oh, look, there he is. <laughs> Denn inmitten all dieser Düsternis stehen die Hüter der Wache hoch oben auf den Türmen, 
Tag für Tag, Nacht für Nacht. Bereit, unsere Familien und unser Land mit ihrem Leben zu verteidigen. Wenn sie ihre Feuer ent... Dude, wake up! The festival's over, man. They've already taken down the main stage. I don't even know where the vending is. I think they packed up too. We gotta get up, bro. Dude, I'm hungover. Yeah, I know, man. I know. But once Forest Schwanz was over, we should have left then. But we waited all the way to the end. And I told you, if we do that, we're going to pass out. I told you. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're, they're actually wondering, like, where everybody went. Wacken. Zünden. Dann Gnade uns die Göttin. Es sind die Feuer der Angst, die dort brennen. Möge der Helden und der Wache heller leuchten als das Licht der Flammen. Denn Dude, here's my passes for next year. I'm not gonna make it. Go to Wacken without me. Sie sind unsere letzte Bastion vor dem, was dort im Schatten auf uns lauert. Und unsere einzige Hoffnung dort auf der Finsterwacht. They're all pumped. We're going to fucking 2024. They survived 2023. They're like, dude, we get to go back. They're so pumped. Look how pumped they are. You know what? Maybe they're maybe they're leaving Vakin and they're going to Summer Breeze or you know Resurrection Fest, Bloodstock, Hellfest. You know all of them. Maybe this is what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. 100. percent I was thinking it was some kind of fantasy thing about you know. Uh, battle for the pride and, and the survival of one's family and your community and the kingdom, blah, blah, blah. No, this is literally just a bunch of dudes went to Vakken, survived, barely, and now they've got tickets for the rest of the summer festivals and they're leaving and they're going. That's all this is. And I love it. He ate the Wiener Schnitzen at, at the stall. We told them they weren't good, but he ate them anyway. He's not going to make it. Well, leave him behind. I told him to go for the Spetzel, but he went for the Wiener Schnitzel, and, and it, I told him that stuff was bad. I told him. It was out in the sun way too long. So, all right. Make sure he doesn't have our parking passes, uh, and we'll just leave him here. Do we bury him? Ah. Dude, where's the first aid station? I don't know, man. I think it's over by the vendors. No, man. The aid station is not by the vendors. The aid station is is over by by the um by the porta potties. Which porta potties? There's like four porta potty places. Where are we gonna go? By the way, also, um, is this like a third cousin of Robert Downey Jr. right here? What's going on? Look, I don't speak German. This is as good as it's gonna get, guys. Just deal with it. I'm trying, and I love Saltatio Mortis, and I will get a translation and I'll enjoy it. But for now, just have fun with me and this Vakken adventure. Dude, I told you they throw shit from the pit. Now, dude, when I tell you security will not let you bring alcohol into the main areas, apparently they took that seriously. He's like, bro, I like, yeah, you can have, you can, yeah, D dude, I snuck this alcohol in. And they were like, you brought alcohol that you didn't buy from the vendor? And security's like, Hell no, bro. What do we tell you? No outside food or drink. <laughs> this is 100% Wagen. He's like, no, they let us bring food at Sabaton Open Air. What happened? See?
under, you have to read and pay attention to the posted festival rules before you show up at any of your summer music festivals. It's very important, okay? You don't want to spend all the money and all the time to get there and realize you break rules and they won't let you stay because that would be horrible. Get an arrow to the neck. That dude, that dude's so mad that his friend got hurt. He's think he's having he's having Woodstock '99 thoughts. He's about to go light the main stage on fire. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. I mean, that crap almost ended festivals forever. Let's not repeat that. <laughs> How dare you show up to Vakken in a Summer Breeze t-shirt, bro? Security's not going to let you get away with that. What's wrong with you? It's like that dude showed up to Vakken in an Evanescence shirt and everyone's like, really? <laughs> I love Amy Lee! Uh. <laughs> Man, this is what happens when you try to start a mosh pit at a Taylor Swift concert. It just doesn't work. Alright, you've killed all the Swifties. <laughs> Bring out the night wish! I'm just <laughs> Quick, let's pile up their bodies so Sabaton can burn them to start to start to start Swedish pagans. We need to light their bodies on fire so we can do the rowing thing for Swedish pagans. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go yeah. Get a cart. It's fine. He looked, no, th this is him getting to Vakken. He's outside, right, in open air. And he's like, let's go check out the second stage tent. And he's peeking in the second stage tent and he looks inside and he's like, who's playing in here? Whoa, it's bloody wood. And then, you know, all hell breaks loose. Come on, there's a video about it. Oh man, I can't believe, look, my favorite part was, that was like, he realized, no. So here's Bloodywood, they just finished their set. And he's like, wait, Bloodywood was playing this whole time? Watch his face. Oh man, 
I missed the whole set. I was in line for 40 minutes and I, I, man, see, this is what happens. You go to a music festival and you desperately, you, you just, you desperately want to see Sabaton, right? You desperately want to see, you know, you even, I'm like, when, when you find out that you were outside watching Steel Panther <laughs> sing Community Property and, and then someone goes, dude, we missed Bloodywood. And then you run to the tent. And that's the look you get. Steel Panther was fun. It was great. It was hilarious. Satchel was hilarious. But I missed Bloodywood. Damn it! That's the look right there. God, a stupid schedule. I can't see all the bands with 47 stages. You know what? I know we weren't going to give away our spots because you know Sabaton was coming later. And, and I think Metallica was going to show up. Probably not. But I think we made the right choice. Yes, we gave up our spots, but it's, it's the people that give up their spots in front of the main stage to go to the side stage to see a band like Bloody Wood or a band that's really like popping off that year and then realize by the time you got there, you couldn't get into the bill. You couldn't get into the tent. So you missed that one and gave up your spot. That's what's going on right here. That's the look of a man who has not only lost his spot in front of the main stage, but missed out on that, that, that one artist that he wanted to catch. Yeah. That's what this is. This is what's going on. I missed bloody wood because I was in the line outside. I don't speak German, but I think that's what he said. Listen. This is pretty good. But we will see them next year. That's awesome, man. Also, here's my favorite part. Okay, so you, you want to go see Saltatio Mortis, right? But when you have multiple stages and one of the stages has a technical issue, so that then they get delayed by a half hour, and so it ruins it. So to stay, to make sure you see Saltatio Mortis, you're pumped up. But if you stay, you're going to miss Blind Guardian. Try making that decision. This is the pledge. No matter what, we're not missing Blind Guardian. Dude, I got us backstage passes. He said he can get us backstage. No, we can't go backstage. If, we, if they catch us backstage, they'll kick us off property. We can't do it. See? 
<laughs> I'm going backstage. He's like, no, I can't. Yeah, see? Now what's gonna happen is the next day, all the guys that went backstage are gonna have this crazy story. The, the, all the crazy stuff that happened. And, and, and this one guy's gonna be like, I, I didn't go, man. I, I, I wasn't gonna break the rules. Dude, you totally missed out. This happens every time. Beacons are lit. All right, that was pretty awesome. And there's a whole bunch of credits. But before I play the credits, because I will play the credits, because come on, a lot of people spent a lot of time to make this epic video. And although I was making a bunch of jokes, I couldn't help myself because I don't speak German. But at the end of the day, it's pretty obvious. Like I said, even if you don't speak German, if you know the story, it makes perfect sense visually. A group of, of warriors did whatever it took to light the beacons against the oncoming horde to give their families and countrymen the chance to mount a defense, a chance to survive. And that's, that's the ultimate sacrifice. But if we go based upon my logic being a dick, um, this entire story was literally a bunch of guys woke up, left one festival, said they're going to Vakken, finally get to Vakken. When they get to the gate, they find out their tickets are fake and they're turned away. And as soon as they're all turned away, they look over their shoulder and they see the lights and the bullhorns light up with the fire. And they're like, damn, that's what it is. That's all it is. That's all it was. But that's because I don't speak German, but I do know great storytelling when I see it. Outstanding work from Saltatio Mortis and Blind Guardian. But of course, my name is Old School Nerd and I can't help but be stupid. So there you go. Oh, I did promise credits. Here you go. The credits are in German. I... You can't... Fuck. <laughs> I'm sitting here, you know... Bunch of, bunch of German people doing German things the way that Germans can do it. All the different awesome German stuff. Um, more and more German things. All right. Sorry. It's <laughs> right? I need to learn German now. I told you, dude. Next time, we're just going to go to Summer Breeze. Shut up, bro. That's... Anyway.
Nice. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, everybody. Uh, that <laughs> that um. Wow, that's not what I wanted to. That was weird. Okay, hey everybody. Uh, so here we. Th th there you go. Uh, wait. Let me mute, let me mute that. All right. So that was Saltatio Mortis and Blind Guardian. Uh, this was um, Finster's Vakt and um, epic tale of a group of young warriors sacrificing everything to give their homeland a fighting chance against the oncoming wall of death. <coughs> and because it's me, I made nothing but jokes about music festivals in Europe during the summer. Does that make me a bad person? Probably. But next time, uh, do this in Swedish and I have a fighting chance because I don't speak German. All right, everybody. <laughs> I don't speak much Swedish either, but I'm trying. All right, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd. Uh, that was 26 minutes of me rambling about stuff that I'm not even accurate about, which means it's like every other reaction I do. So uh, nothing lost. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.